Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids and Monsters video. Another new series for you here based on your suggestions. My apologies for getting a few days late into this. Uh, I was actually away on a trip to the Dallas Comic Con this past weekend. Uh, got a couple of videos that I may post related to the Dallas Comic Con uh, this you know, later on this week. Mostly just uh, the Q&A's that I recorded and then I've got a bunch of pictures so I don't know, um, be on the lookout for those. I'll decide if I'm gonna do those or not depending on time really. But in this case uh, the starting off point for this new series of my Cryptids and Monsters it's actually one, it wasn't suggested but I came across this um, the other day when I was doing my other items from Cryptids of the Week, like the uh, Cardiff Giant, that cryptids.wikia.com website, that one suggested this one underneath it. That's what's great about that website is you, you can be clicking on it pretty much all day long because there's going to be brand new suggestions underneath the bottom of the page that are just too fascinating to ignore. And in this case, this one is really, really interesting. It's called the Argo Pelter, and it has to do with a cryptid that is actually here in the United States, uh, specifically um, in the wooded areas of Maine up to Oregon. Um, Oregon is how it goes. Pretty great stuff. Um, the Argo Pelter, which you'll see a picture of here, um, is kind of like one of those cryptids that I've talked about in the past, where it seems to fall under that tall tail category of cryptids, a kind that were reported way back during the frontier civilization area era and that was when um, a lot of people were discovering America for the first time just traveling west and trying to settle and kind of like with the um, the funeral mountain terror shot which remains one of my favorite cryptids that I talked about this one again falls under that category of the tall tale sort so what is the Argo Pelter well it looks like a miniaturized version of the Sasquatch but there is one clear difference besides the size of it um, and what I mean is this it has arms that look to be elongated and actually fluid like almost like a whip of sorts and that seems to be its most interesting and standout category when it comes to the Argo Pelter again it's located in the wooded areas of Maine up to Oregon uh, specifically it inhabits trees but it's not like it builds a nest on the tree itself kinda of like you would imagine like an ape would where they have locations on top of branches that they just hang out on no in this case it actually lives inside the tree itself much like uh, you would imagine like uh, hollowed out portions of certain trees that's where it lives just like birds would or just like snakes would that is its living area and it does this because it it hides. It loves to hide. It doesn't want to be seen. Unlike apes or any other wooded animals that that hide, that essentially harbor around trees. In this case, the Argo Pelter is the complete opposite. It vehemently loves to just stay hidden, and it does this because it hates anything crossing its path or coming right into its territory. In fact, these are the stories related to the Argo Pelter and the encounters described are as follows because of its unique um, I guess mindset that it doesn't like anybody intruding its area it doesn't like anybody coming across its path and these are the stories why um, apparently there are people that have stated that they have seen an Argo Pelter attack them but it's difficult to say because the Argo Pelters are so good at staying hidden in fact they've been described as being very very quick to the point where it's almost like a blur um, all the people see is just like the hide behind they think they see something but whenever they turn around this thing is so quick it's gone it's out of their peripheral vision and it's moved on to another hidden area and then all they can hear it they can probably um, uh, smell it in some cases but the high the distinct uh, feature of the of the Argo Pelter when it attacks is it pelts everything at the person that's intruding it rocks branches clumps of bark whatever it has near and around its area it will grab it and with deadly accuracy it'll whip 
use its arm almost like a whip of sorts. It'll whip it straight to the intruder and hit them, preferably aiming right towards the face. How creepy is that? Imagine something with almost deadly precision like Bullseye from the comic books, from the Marvel comics. It, it has that capability. This Argo Pelter uh, is able to hit people and other intruders with alarming accuracy and it probably has to do with those whip-like arms um the way it can move those arms it probably knows the exact angle that works best and the exact velocity that'll work best that when it lets let's say a rock in its hand um shoot out it'll reach the person and it'll hit them pretty hard to the point that it's not to harm it's actually to kill so this is not a friendly uh, cryptid of sorts no when you come across this particular cryptid um there it, it's it's not a good thing in fact there have been tales of people um uh, something happening to them where they don't know exactly what hit them but they hit them so hard that it it really really hurt them to the point that others are just bl practically blaming the Argo Pelter for the deaths of some of the people that they know. Um, again, they don't know exactly what was out there, but it was enough so that wooden splinters, branches, rocks, whatever, were found near and around the dead person, and that's where they blame the Argo Pelter for this. Um, the only known description of the Argo Pelter comes from one person who apparently was able to turn around fast enough and see this cryptid as this person was fleeing. Same situation as before. Um, this person unwittingly came across the territory of the Argo Pelter and sure enough the Argo Pelter did what it does. It started hurling rocks, branches, everything it had at this person with deadly accuracy. Um, and the only reason that this person says that they survived was because the one branch that would have normally killed this person um, was actually a weak branch. It was like a decomposed branch of sorts. And so when it hit the person on the head and it shattered on their head, um, they survived only because the branch itself was soft. It was decomposing, so it wasn't hard and rigid. But as this person ran off, he turned around and he got what is described as the only good glimpse of the Argo Pelter and what everything is in terms of its descriptions going forward, all these drawings, all these um, artist conceptions of what you see. He describes it as following. He says, it was a slender, wiry body the, with the villainous face of an ape and arms like muscular whiplashes with which it can snap off dead branches and hurl them through the air like shells from a six-inch gun. So there you go. That's a pretty accurate description of what others have encountered. They weren't able to see the Argo Pelter, but in this case, this one person was. Also, the tale was that this one person was the only survivor of the Argo Pelter, but if that's the case, I wonder how others were able to relate similar experiences unless there's another cryptid somewhere out there that shares the similar characteristics of the Argo Pelter. So I'm a little suspect as to the idea that this was the only one survivor of an Argo Pelter attack. Um, there had to be more for more of the uh, tales to be told of the Argo Pelter. I mean, it's like um, anything else involving some of the other tall tale cryptids, the Funeral Mountain Terror Shot. There's multiple people that would see this thing. And that's how it grew into the almost urban legend status that it has. Now, here's some other very interesting characteristics of the Argo Pelter. Um, it only eats... Pretty much other wooded forest animals, woodpeckers, owls, um, anything involving uh, probably small birds, stuff along those lines. It eats those animals and it actually also eats rotten wood, which would make sense because there'll be plenty of that there in and around the areas, those heavily wooded areas that it surrounds itself in. Also, this is pretty kooky. Um, it's newborn Argo Pelters, the little babies that it has, they're only born on one day out of the calendar year. How this happens, I don't know, but this is apparently how it goes. They are born on February 29th. So yes, not just on February 28th of every year, but no, it has to be on the specific year 
when there is the extra day, February 29th, that's when it has its new pups. And not only that, but it never has even numbered litters. Instead, it has odd numbers. So it'll have three um, Argo Pelter pups, or it'll have five, seven, nine, and so forth. It will never have anything else in terms of even numbered uh, Argo Pelters. How crazy is that? Um, how that happens, again, I don't know, but that is the idea involving the Argo Pelter. Those who are able to study it to the point and gather this info, that is it. It, it, it has the puppies on February 29th and they always come in odd numbers crazy crazy stuff no word on when these particular attacks have been going on with the Argo Pelter um, I tried to see if there was a specific timeline tied to them nothing um, one can easily surmise though that again it has to come from the frontier era when everybody was moving towards west and discovering all this new land nothing recent that that seems to come to mind when it comes to the Argo Pelter but who knows it's probably still out there in those heavily wooded areas there's so much of that land that is just not unclaimed obviously people own that land or it's owned by the state itself but it's land that just hasn't been walked across by man it just hasn't had that human experience so whenever you have the odd let's say um, hunter or explorer to in today's days that happens to go across that area for the first time guess what they discovered the argo pelter for the first time just like the argo pelter is discovering them for the first time and when that happens that's where we get these tales if anyone has by the way any other stories tied to the argo pelter on this any other strange tales uh, very unique cryptid please Post them below. It would be fascinating to see and hear if anyone has anything else, particularly any other recent tales. I mean, I was trying to see and see if anything was pretty recent just within the past couple of years because it's here in America if it is still around. But unfortunately, I have not come across anything. Pretty unique cryptid. I love the aspect that um, with its whip-like arms, it could aim things so accurately imagine being in the forest so many branches so many moving objects around you and yet here you have this thing as you're running like bullseye from the comics throwing something with such deadly precision it'll hit you from far away where you're running to with deadly accuracy pretty crazy stuff great stuff so all right everybody thanks again as always take care